Mazda has announced that it is recalling 19,000 cars in South Africa due to airbag safety concerns as the Japanese car maker extends a global recall to cover a wider manufacturing period. The company says the recall was prompted by investigations in Japan and North America for three different types of Takata manufactured airbags over the safety concerns that inflators were defective. The company brands to be recalled includes the Mazda 2, Mazda 6 and Mazda RX-8 vehicles produced from 2003 with VIN numbers starting with MMCDE, JM6GG and JMZSE. Takata airbags have been linked to 17 deaths and more than 180 injuries worldwide. Joining us on the phone line is Henry Kharba, Master Warranty Technical Manager. Mr. Kharba, can you just take us through this recall? Exactly what was def discovered to be defective about these airbags? Currently with the Master brand, we do not have any defects as such. Uh, but what I have discovered is there is a possibility that the actual inflators are not um, loaded properly with the propellant. Um, to date, we haven't had any confirmations of this. However, in order to make sure our customers are safe, we will be recalling those vehicles. Mm -hmm. And then how will this process unfold? Do most Mazda owners who have heard this message then come to your dealership? How would it work or are you specifically contacting them if indeed you have a database? Um, unfortunately, due to the age of the car park um, and specifically these vehicles starting from 2003, we have lost touch with most of these customers. Um, so we've embarked on a, quite a, an extensive marketing campaign in order to bring this to our customers' attention. Together with this, we've also notified our dealer network and we've got our customer care department on standby to discuss this issue with all our um, vehicle owners. Mm -hmm. Now, if there's such a recall, there's obviously some sort of an inconvenience to the driver of the Mazda. Yes, you want to prioritize safety, but what happens to them when they bring these cars? Is there perhaps a courtesy car? If you do in in indeed find that there's something defective about the airbag, what happens? Um, unfortunately, it's, it's not a question of determining a defect with any of the airbags. We're replacing um, all these inflators um, without question. Okay. Um, all the inflators are being collected by Mazda Southern Africa and are re-inspected by Takata airbags in order to make sure there is no defect. Um, the repair should essentially take nothing longer than about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So is there perhaps a designated line that you guys have established where any Mazda driver at this point, just for convenience, a designated right. line that they can call to bring in their cars for you guys to do the replacement? Uh, they're more than welcome to Donna uh, Mazda Southern Africa Customer Care Center. Um, the number on that is uh, 0860 069 Mm -hmm. And then just in closing, Hendry, any reputational damage? Do you, this, do you not foresee this causing any problems? I mean, we saw the other company that we won't mention because they've dealt with their own negative publicity. But do you foresee any reputational damage in terms of Mazda, even though it is just the airbag? Uh, not at all. Uh, we take our customers' safety um, as a priority and we believe doing the responsible thing um, only enhances the brand value. No, thank you very much. That's Henry Kharba, the Mazda Warranty Technical Manager, talking to us on that story of the recall from 2003. So if indeed you have a car, a Mazda, you would need to have your airbag replaced.